Greetings from Nova Scotia. This is the first of many YouTube videos on our new channel, Bonsai by the Sea. And we'd like to give you some background on how we ended up here by the sea, because this basically is our front yard. We were musicians in Texas in the early 2000s. And we were, we had a beautiful place there outside of Wimberley, Texas. And they were playing our music in Halifax. And so we were invited to come and we, we came and played and, and had a rent, rental car. And of course, wanted to explore, explore this beautiful place. We drove around the Ospatagan Peninsula and we had, at that point, driven by our, our house, the place we would move to. We just didn't know it yet. So we went back to Texas with only the internet picture to drool over. And what a picture it was. Just an amazing place. So we're on the western side of the Ospatagan Peninsula about an hour from Halifax. And I had never had a bonsai tree until a year and a half ago when this whole pandemic started. Because our plan for this place was to have an organic farm and sell vegetables at the farmer's market. It wasn't much of a stretch for me to, to start and want to sell the bonsais too, but that didn't happen for 10 years. It only happened when the when the pandemic started. So when the pandemic started, they told us we weren't gonna have markets that year to, to sell vegetables. So suddenly I was a 60 year old farmer with a lot of time on my hands. So I started investigating things to do. And of course I find Peron's bonsai, Peter Chan, just starting up on his YouTube adventure, willing to share all of his knowledge that he's acquired over his long life. And so the first video I saw of his that inspired me was the Alberta Spruce Upright. So we went to Kent's and, and bought this tree, this Alberta Spruce. And it was my, my first tree that I played with and, and got, got to know. And this is the first, first concrete pot I made for that tree. And that was all through, also through YouTube, just watching people make them and, and, and learning, learning the craft. So a big thanks to Peter Chan for his inspiration. And of course, there's a number of other people on YouTube that inspired me. So a year and a half later into my bonsai journey, I have over 200 trees that I've collected because I, I it was just addictive and I'm very attached to these trees now. And what we want to do today is, is to show the top 10 trees that have come from the collecting over a year and a half. And this tree, this tree here is a spruce tree that I've become very attached to. It was near dead when, when we pulled it out. And in a year and a half, it has just flourished. And if you look close here, if you come in close on it, you can see it's back budding everywhere, making new branches, all these little nubs. So one thing I was not prepared for was the emotional attachment that we have with these trees. I, I have been selling vegetables at the farmer's market for 10 years, so it was not too big of a stretch for me to take them to the farmer's market. And of course I sold one and, and it was uh, quite an experience because I, I had seller's remorse for a week over that tree and missed that tree. 
So I learned through that that I had to separate them into trees I'm willing to sell and those that I'm probably going to keep till I die. So it's been a very interesting, interesting journey and we want to show the top 10 trees today from, from our journey in bonsai and collecting. So we'll call this spruce number 10, even though I love it just as much as it would be number one, but we have to put them in an order. So, so this will be number 10. So number nine I have out here is this, is this white pine tree that has been a really nice tree. It was collected about a year and a half ago, very early in my process and, and has just been a joy to have around. So now we'll go back up to the house and, and we'll look at the rest of the trees. So this spruce tree is going to be number eight. Has been a really fun tree to watch grow. Has grown a lot in a year and a half since I put it in the pot. And the pine trees, they've all been white pine. This will be number seven. The pines have been a lot of fun. Very easy to collect. Got a nice looking trunk going. And I have to say, probably the best trees have been the tamaracks. So this tamarack tree is in a, a round pot. Tamarack trees have been the best for Yamadori for me. They've been super trees. And this is number six. So number five is this tamarack tree. It was one of the first trees that I tried to get some wire on. And it taught me that you can't leave it on there very long on these tamarack trees. Because they grow so fast, they'll grow right into it. Number four is this blue spruce. Got its own little babies growing in here. Very nice tree. It's got its pine cones. Back budding all over. Love the shape of these upright spruces. Number four. Number three is this grouping of trees. I believe they're balsa firs. This is a very interesting moss that was collected around here. These trees have grown a lot in a year. They were like pencils in there when I collected them. Number two is this spruce tree. Definitely the best spruce tree I've collected, or at least the oldest. 
I have a feeling this tree could be 25, 30 years old. Easy. It's number two on the list. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Number one Yamadori is this tamarack tree. This one's in a colored pot. Terracotta dye in the concrete. This tree has always had a lot of vigor. Just ready to perform. Pleasure to have around. And that does it for the top 10. So in closing, I just wanna say that I'm not claiming to be any kind of expert at this. I know that people study this for many years to become a master. I'm just a guy enjoying the hobby and would like to give people the opportunity to enjoy it as much as I do and watch these trees develop. And I hope you'll join us here at Bonsai by the Sea for the adventure of Bonsai. <laughs>